Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to talk tanning. Firstly, I'm gonna talk about my favorite tips and ones I think work to help your tan look nicer and also last longer. Secondly, I'm gonna talk about fake tans I've used in the past and how I rate them, whether I think they're any good or not, whether I think they're worth paying out for. And thirdly, I'm gonna talk about my favorite fake tan and why I think it is so good. So. Firstly, we're going to talk about my fake tan tips. So, first tip is exfoliate. When you're in the bath or shower, spend a long amount of time exfoliating like crazy to get rid of all of the dead skin cells um, to leave a nice fresh layer of skin so that it will absorb the fake tan. Wow. Second tip is when you get out of the bath or shower, do not put like a layer of lotion or moisturizer on um, after you've exfoliated because obviously I think in my own opinion I think that creates a barrier between the fake tan and your skin so it can stop the fake tan absorbing as well so I know it's hard not to but if you're going to maybe apply a little bit while you're in the bath or shower and then that way it can wash away so it doesn't create such a barrier so that's my second tip third tip is no matter what the developing time try and leave it on for longer if you can overnight is perfect try and plan it a day that you can leave it on before you go to bed and then wake up and wash off the tin or whatever's on the top to leave your tan um, showing underneath. Fourth and final tip is if you have a mitt, a tanning mitt, then and you find that easy to use then go ahead and use that but personally I like to use latex gloves. I think they work the best. I've tried my, using my hands I've tried using the mitts and I've also tried with latex gloves and I think that using latex gloves you can work it into the skin much better. With the with the tanning mitt I find that it's easy to use but you have to use more product. With using your hands obviously you end up with really stained hands if you don't wash it off in time and also it takes to your hands quick. and with the gloves with the latex gloves once you start using them you can work it into your skin just as you can with your hands um, and also where your hands are warm you've got more time to work the product into your skin before it starts drying so personally i would say from my own experience i find using latex gloves the best so those are all my tips what i just want to add quickly is when exfoliating if you're not sure what exfoliate to use i personally use this one which is by The Sanctuary um, and it's a really good all over body scrub including your face you can use this on if you're very sparse with it um, also what I'd like to say is if you use a really good exfoliator then that does make a difference so I wouldn't recommend using a really cheap one or so let's talk tans first fake tan I've used in the past is this one L'Oreal Sublime Bronze uh, in the colour medium. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, this I used to use when I didn't have as much money and I wasn't working as many hours. Um, so this is all I could really afford. This I find not very good, I have to be honest. Reason being is number one, you have to leave it on overnight um, and you have to make sure you're using old sheets or putting a towel down because obviously the tr it transfers onto things. Also this leaves a weird type of glitter on your skin um, until you wash it off the next day and then that that goes. But this says it, this promotes um, non-streaking on the packet. I personally think this does streak and also if you have any blemishes on your legs or any scars this does enhance that. Um, and this goes on almost like a sticky glue um, even though it is tinted so you can see where you're putting it um, it does still streak I find so this was around $8.99 um, when I bought it I think you could probably pick it up cheaper on the internet somewhere um, what I would say about this as well is the smell is typically like fake tan um, when you first smell it it smells like it straight away, even before you put it on the body. Some of the more expensive ones I've tried say that they don't smell like fake tan, and they don't, but then as they start developing over the hours, they start smelling like it, whereas this one smells like it straight away. As soon as you open the packet, uh, you will smell fake tan. Um, so you will end up smelling like biscuits after 
you've used this. Also, when you wash it off the next morning, you still smell like biscuits. Quickly, before I forget about this fake tan, um, this you'll probably need to use a few times before you get the desired tan you would like. If you're quite dark or you like to go quite dark like me, then you'll probably need about three or four applications of this throughout the week before you get the desired tan, because this is very subtle. So next one I'm going to talk about is more of a leg makeup than a fake tan. So as this comes out, this is what this is literally what it will look like. So you spray it on, it comes out like that, you rub it in, and that is that is pretty much what it stays like until you wash it off. So it's more of a wash on, wash off um, tan and it's Sally Hansen comes in a bottle like this. You can get it in different shades. I get mine in a deep glow or a tan glow. This is around 9.99. Um, this is really, really good. I love it. If I'm if I haven't fake tanned or suddenly someone calls me and says, "Hey, you coming out tonight?" and I thought, "Oh my god, I didn't fake tan. What do I do?" I run to this. If I or if I have a horrible mark on my leg or if I have a bruise or something like that, this covers it up. So this um, is almost like a foundation, um, not quite as thick in consistency, but it is thick. Um, so if you haven't got time to fake tan or you want to just wa wash on, wash off, then this is the perfect thing to use, Sally Hansen airbrush legs. So just quickly, a couple of things I forgot to add about this Sally Hansen is that it's water resistant, which means if you're out and it rains or someone spills a drink on you, you're not going to be left with horrible streak marks and a telltale sign that you're wearing fake tan. Um, it's also odour free which means that you're not going to end up smelling that horrible fake tanny biscuity smell so that's always a plus. The next fake tan I'm going to talk about is Fake Bakes Flawless. Now a couple of things about this fake tan. Number one it says on there it smells tropical. I don't think it smells tropical after leaving it for a couple of hours. Again I think it smells like cakes, biscuits, the normal fake tan smell. Secondly, this is not transfer resistant, so you do need to make sure you wear some sort of loose clothing and also put a towel down or put some old sheets on the bed that you don't mind getting wrecked. I've seen a lot of reviews written about this fake tan and that after it's been applied, once someone's had a bath or shower, that after the tints washed away there's been nothing left now personally i have had the opposite so i don't know whether it's the way i've applied it maybe i've applied it differently to others but as i've just said to you in my tips previously i just exfoliated in the bath or shower didn't put any lotion on and applied it directly to the skin rather than onto the mitt now this does come with a mitt and a latex glove so make sure you do use the mitt and latex glove but instead of applying it onto the glove, apply it onto your body and then work it in with the glove. Now that's the way I applied this and I left it overnight. The next morning I looked like someone from The Only Way is Essex. That's the only way to describe this fake tan. It looked very fake. Now this does come out dark, so if you do want to look dark and you want to look like an Oompa Loompa, then this is a good tan. Now I'm going to be hated for saying this because some reviews I've seen say this is the bait best fake tan they've ever used. I don't think this is that good. Some other things I feel like I should say about this fake tan are if you apply it the way I've just spoken about then you'll only need one application for the desired look. It will make you look really dark. If you're worried more about how it's going to come out maybe don't leave it on overnight because this will make you look really dark. Maybe apply it for a few hours, then wash it off and see whether you want it to leave it on longer the second time you apply it. The last thing about this fake tan, just quickly, is after wearing it for about three or four days, I noticed that it doesn't fade very well. It makes you look like a scaly lizard, basically. Um, it flakes terribly and also then I find, because I have to exfoliate it all off to stop it looking like I've been dragged through mud, um, that I have to start again from scratch, which is kind of annoying. Now it's time to say hello to the badass of fake tans, which is my favorite Zen tan. This is it, this is the baby. This is the one I absolutely love. I cannot fault this fake tan. And after trying so many different brands, this is my favorite. I cannot fault this. So let's talk about it. This is the box it comes in and in there you get a bottle that looks like this 
Um, this is in the colour dark. Obviously, I go for dark because I like to be dark. Um, you can get this in other types now, um, I've noticed on websites. Zentan is what I have on my body at the moment. Um, as you can see, it kind of is quite dark at the moment, and I imagine it does look quite dark compared to my face. Um, that's just because of the lighting of my room, I do apologise. So at the moment my face does look really pale and my skin does look really dark. But in natural lighting my skin does look just as dark as my face. So I don't know what's going on with the lighting in this room but it does look like a mismatch. But the tan is brilliant. Because of the olive undertones in the tan it means that you won't end up with a really really fake orangey Oompa Loompa style tan as it's one which is designed to make you look like you have just been on holiday. So that is another good thing about the fake tan. Also, a thing to add is, this does faintly smell like fake tan. Admittedly, after trying a lot of different brands, this is probably the nicest smelling fake tan I've had. Um, so that is a plus, but it still generally does smell like fake tan after, after half the developing time. Um, the couple of things that sold it for me as the best fake tan, is the fact that this wears really well so after like four or five days you have like a gradual fade rather than those horrible blotches that you get when it's actually wearing down um, this does wear really well so that's a really big plus so you only need to top this up probably once every seven or eight days and the bottle's absolutely huge so it lasts forever the only way to make it last forever is not by squirting it directly onto the mitt and then rubbing it onto your body because I find that that is a way to waste a lot of the product is to physically squirt it onto your body and then work it in with the mitt or work it in with the latex gloves as I spoke to you about previously. Now in two minds as to what fake tan to pick, whether to go for the fake bake or whether to go for the zen tan. Obviously my personal recommendation is zen tan but the main reason I would pick this one is for not only the colour and for how long the bottle lasts, but the other, the other reason I would pick this one is because this is a spray and this is a lotion. So when you spray this on, because it's almost like water in consistency, you have to work with it quite quick. Whereas with this, because it comes out almost like a, it comes out like a lotion um, and it's quite thick, you have a lot of time to work with this product. If you have more time to work with the product, it means that you're less likely to get streaks. So just lastly, uh, both these fake tans are around the same price, um, but the main difference is this one is 170 mils and this one is a massive 236 mils. So obviously you get more in the bottle for this and also this I find goes further because of the consistency, whereas this one, because it's like water, actually I find you need to spray more. Um, so that's my fake tan review and also my tips. Hope you like my video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and also please like my video and write me some nice comments down below.